Well, I think the beauty of it, both dancing and good coffee, the beauty is in the simplicity of it. The mood of the music is what is helping me for the inspiration of building the recipes. With a good coffee, like with a good uh, salsa song, you want to get an emotional response. But I, I've been dancing and studying uh, Cuban music for about 10 years now. And I remember when I first started, women would just go, quit thinking and just dance. And I think that is similar with coffee. I mean, people, they, they pick up the coffee and they go, that's perfect. That, I don't know what went into it, how it was prepared, but that's, that's, that's excellent. Absolutely, absolutely. When I was in, in Cuba, I took a lot of dance lessons. And I didn't realize that one of my teachers was one of the leading dancers in Havana. And she kept saying, no, senor, no, senor. And I'm thinking, I've been studying this for five years. How can I be so bad? And so finally she said, okay, bueno. And that night, just by dumb luck, I ran into her at a um, uh, nightclub. And she walked in, she was all made up, and I thought, oh my God, that's Jennifer, my teacher. And I'm thinking, I hope she doesn't see me. And she sees me and she goes, come over here, you're gonna dance with me. Maybe 400 Cubans there, only gringo. And I thought, whatever I've learned over all these years, now's the time to do it. So we're dancing. And she's going, Senor, relax. So we danced for about four or five minutes, and I am transported to another planet. And then I hear this voice. It's like, Senor, Senor. And I sort of come to my senses, and I go, yes, yes. And she goes, Senor, the dance, it is over. <laughs> Well, I think the beauty of it, both dancing and good coffee, the beauty is in the simplicity of it. There's not too much, there's just enough. How does that compare to cupping coffee, where you, you, uh, you grind the roast beans, you smell it? That's almost like the introduction to a dance, where you're just, you're standing there, the anticipation of that first taste. And what it does when the coffee is in your mouth, it just, it becomes something else. And then you put it down and it just sort of, there's a resolution to it. Dancing is meaning a couple. It's a couple that is doing a, a movement, listening, enjoying, mm -hmm. and then moving in the same way, in a, an harmonic way. Mm -hmm. Saying is Cubania. Cubania is a coffee that is going in harmony, then the couple is you and your cup. That is the discussion that you have between yourself and, 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 and your coffee. Then is this discussion that you have, that you, the pleasure that you have when you smell, when you see, your, when you see the foam, and when you drink your coffee, and when you have the after, the lingering and pleasant aftertaste. Mm -hmm. It's the same when you are dancing. The good thing, and this is what is pretty nice from, 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 from our system is, you have everything compacted on the capsule. When you do the extraction, all the aromas, all the fragrance are compacted here. Coming back to the music is, is what, what was remaining on your brain for the, a, a good masterpiece of music. Well, it reminds me of salsa music because you take the same notes and they create something very intense. And it made me wonder, the perfect cup of coffee, if it's blended properly, you must have the sensation that you taste it and you go, yes, that's the essence of coffee. So was that the sort of intensity that you were looking for in the, in the blend? In Espresso, we want at all times going and pushing the borders. Mm -hmm. Border from the technological point of view, border from the origins, new origins, new way to do the things. Mm -hmm. And then the, then Cubania was a good example. Because then we say, in the past, some years ago, the strength, that is the intensity of the coffee, was defined, normally we define from 1 to 10. And then we have one example that was Casar, we say, we, have, we want, and we try to do something that was more strong than this. And then we have Casar. And then we say, why? We don't go further to this 
to Qatar. Are we able to do this? Then the idea was coming Cubania. This is what the name is coming quite proper. The sensuality surrounding that is mm -hmm. coming from the, from the music. And this is what we try to do with the Cubania is also create this atmosphere of the, when you are tasting your coffee, that you enjoy, that you sink in the, only with the name in this music, in the, in, in the sugar, in the sugar cane, in the people, in the Caribbean, in the beach. This is the same analogy, and this is what we try to, to, uh, to give to the consumers. Well, apart from the taste, it seems to me that you also, with a good coffee, like with a good uh, salsa song, you want to get an emotional response. Um, there are people who know a lot about the structure of music, but dancers, they're not counting the beats. They just know, this is perfect, this is something excellent. And it's just come together in this moment, and it must be like that with coffee, too, because you're a professional coffee blender, you know the chemistry, you know your palate has been developed, you know why it is good, but I always think that good music, good food, good coffee, you don't have to know anything about it. You just know when it's right. I can summarize this with a single word that is harmony. Mm -hmm. Harmony in music, harmony in food, harmony in drink, harmony in these kind of things. It's, it's the same. When, when uh, musicians uh, build, develop a, a music, the final word is the harmony. Then with the consumer, normal consumer, for example, I am listening to music, I, I don't have to know too much about music, but what is entering in my brain is the most important. It is what is, is please me or not please me. This harmony is the key. So Alexis, I was thinking about the structure of music and how it relates to the structure of a blend of coffee. Uh, um, salsa music is based on beating clave sticks. There are five beats over um, uh, two measures of eight beats. And that's what all the, the dancers listen to it. Sometimes it's only implied. Sometimes you don't hear it. But if you're Latin, you can hear it. And that's where all the musicians, they follow the clave beat. So I was wondering whether within the blend of a coffee, there's like a skeleton or a structure that you add things to. The, the axis will be the strength that I have to find which origins are the most adapted to build this foundation. That will be the skeleton or the main axis that is the strength. Not all the origins are adapted for this, for this uh, structure. There are some origins that can be, when we mix to the others, uh, they deliver too much bitterness, too much hardness, too much acidity. Then we have to find the right ones delivering this to, to be, start building the foundation. Then after is coming, as we say, the, the, the legs, the arms, mm -hmm. that are the, or, the, the other origins. I've also been thinking about the similarity between music notes and tasting notes of coffee. Ah. And because those beans were treated differently, different soil, different water, different altitude, when they came back to be blended, they were something slightly different. So I thought about the similarities of um, you take these basic elements, you send them to the far ends of the earth, they come back, you blend them properly, and you come up with a music and also a coffee that's greater than the sum of its parts. And that's what I'm sort of curious about if that's how Kubania came into being. Because it's the same, or it's, it's this, what is the logic or the rationality of the blend recipe of the Cubania. Mm -hmm. The coffees are the same. The coffees is the raw material. We have the disposal of the coffee, the availability of the coffee that we have in the right moment mm -hmm. to put on the, on, on the recipe. You talked about how music actually inspires you <laughs> to create coffee. I need sometimes music to be concentrated. Mm -hmm. Could be in contra sense, but, but it's the case. And, and, and for me, what is important is the mood. The mood of the music is what is helping me for the inspiration of building the recipes. Then, uh, and, and I change the music. Then I, I change the music depending on the mood that I want to, to create. If, if, if I need something more strong, the mood of the music that I am listening is giving more for this. You know, in the, in the dance community, people talk about 
the best dance they ever had. Do you ever think about the best cup of coffee you ever had? Uh, this is a difficult question. I think the best cup of coffee depending on the mood, depending on the perception. Mm. This is why you know, sensory evaluation is subjective. But it's subjective linked to the mood, depending your mood, depending uh, also the mood, uh, not, not, only, not only for coffee perception, but also for, uh, for the creation, for the, I think for the music, the same. No? Depending on your mood, you can create different pieces of, of, of music. And this is the principle also for the, I can say, the mood. The mood. You drink coffee, you, drink, you, you have different products. Mm -hmm. you have, we have different Grand Cruz <coughs> that are coffee from the sensorial point of view completely different. One coffee that are more light, more fruity, more acidic, other one that are more raw, more balanced, other that are more strong, but other strong with some fruity notes, some, some spicy notes. Then depending on your mood, you can enjoy this kind of thing. Sometimes I think, um, you know, you drink a cup of coffee and you've had that last swallow and it just lingers in your mouth and you think, oh, that, that's the essence of coffee. Eric, the same, no? Uh, the, the, the only thing in a short way that I have to say is I think our responsibility and our dream and a part of our uh, job is trying to build in this capsule coffee that you put, you have your cup of coffee and you, you have your coffee for yourself to enjoy and as you say, to, to dream, to, to go outside completely and enjoy this sensation. Mm -hmm. Remember, no? Dancing, reading, listening, or, or looking, seeing, everything is sensory experience. Mm -hmm. And you build only this doing in a proper and perfect way.